Okay, here's the very last part of the electrochemistry lab and how to solve for it. In this last part of the electrochemistry lab, we're trying to find KSP for a very particular reaction, the lead sulfate. So KSP or the solubility of KSP is it goes to lead 2 plus and lead and sulfate. So what is set up is a concentration cell like the other part. Uh, in this case, we have lead 2 plus going to lead 2 plus. And you happen to know this concentration, we'll say it's 0.05 for this sample, might be different than your lab. And then it's going to unknown concentration. Or as you will see the cell in shorthand notation, it's written like this. So we've got lead, uh, and then uh, this is the way we chose to write it here with all these different ions, different concentrations. We don't know the concentration of lead here. And then uh, here's the cathode on this side, the lead nitrate, and lead solid. So what do you do here? Again, it's a Nernst equation, just like the usual. First of all, what you're going to do is measure the potential. Okay? That's so you're going to put it in the cell, measure the potential in the lab. That'll be a number, some voltage. Because it's a concentration cell, uh, the potential, standard potential is zero, just like the previous part. And again, it's going to be 2 because it's a lead 2 plus, so it'll be 2 electrons that will be canceled out. Q, how about Q? Well, we're doing it really for this reaction right there. So it's the lead 2 plus of the unknown concentration divided by the lead 2 plus of the 0.05 concentration. So that's what we end up right here. That's going to go into Q. So over here, when we plug things in, notice I dropped the E standard, uh, and there's just a minus sign left here from here. 0.0257 divided by n, natural log of x over 0.05, this n is going to be ended, end up being 2. Uh, if you're a little fuzzy on taking anti-logs, I solved x here. Uh, x is 0.05, e raised to this whole quantity here, the measured value of the potential, minus 2, that's n divided by 0 0.0257. And so what you're going to do is, again, find Ksp, it's for this reaction, so it's products over reactants. Reactants not included because it's a solid, so the products are all you have in the numerator. So it's lead 2 plus times the sulfate. The lead 2 plus is the unknown, that's x. You might wonder, where do I get x? Well, you just found it, it's right here. Just plug in your measured value here, and again, you might not have 0.05, uh, but whatever the initial concentration uh, or the initial concentration of the lead is in anode, that's whatever you put there. You'd solve for x, that value goes right here, that's the lead 2 plus concentration. And then in this case, uh, sulfate is 3 molar, that's here. Okay, again, you might have a different value than 3 molar, put the value that you have right in here, you multiply those two, and you should get the value for Ksp. You can compare it to tabulated values, it should be around uh, somewhere around 1.6, 1.5 times 10 to the minus 8.